Hello everyone and welcome to Merlin's Manor. Today I'm going to be unboxing Terraforming Mars the Dice Game. Just came in. Let's take a look at what's in the box. Okay, opening it up. An interactive tutorial apparently if you don't want to read the rule book. Here is the rule book. Got a nice texture to it, just like the Ares Expedition one. Okay. Advertisement there. Okay, here are some of the different goal cards. These are things you're going to be going after, trying to be the first one to get to these. A little helper sheet here. Uh, this one has the solo on it, and on the other side, it's got basically what you're going to do when you produce. It's got a little dice overview as to how common, uncommon, or rare certain results are. And then when you're doing your regular turn, you get your support action here and your main action that you're going to do. That's going to help you kind of go through that. Always handy to have some good player guides. Here is the board. There we go. You got bonuses when you go to different places on here. You've got some victory point spaces. And then it's got a second side as well. And so these are going to go on these slots right here. You get four points if you're the first person to get there. More punch out stuff. We got more of these goals here. I don't know why I'm punching them all out. Uh, let's see, we got here if I can not drop it. We got a whole bunch of these ones here. I'm not gonna punch them all out. Got your oceans, you've got your forests. All these different tokens that go out there for different cards. You got all these city tiles here. Got your uh, wild tokens here. Some more of those goals. And here we have all the different dice. I'll show those in a moment. Player cubes. And of course, cards. Can't be terraforming Mars without cards. We have base game cards are in this deck. We've got corporate era cards here in this deck. Uh, these are some promo cards that came with the Kickstarter edition that I have here. And there's some more cards here. I'll get those open in just a moment. Uh, you also have some tokens here that are for your different player colors. Let's get everything out of the way. I want to get these dice out. Because it is Terraforming Mars, the dice game. So this is the, the big deal right here, right? So that was a lot of water drops. So these have three sides to them. Water, O2, and the lightning bolt. These ones have this money symbol, the flask, and the world symbol there. And then the red dice. Got the Celsius, the radiation symbol, and the event symbol. Got the green dice. Oh, these are nice. Got the leaf, got the microbe, and we got the animals. Let's get a closer look at these ones as well. And we've got
these guys right here. Titanium, steel, and the city symbol. Again, these ones I can show a little bit closer up as well. Lots and lots of dice. Okay, let's get into the cards now. Go ahead and open up this promo pack. Show you what's in the promo pack. These are the corporations here. You're going to start out with that there. You're going to get production of that and start out with those dice. And basically, what you're going to do for that production is you're going to take what's on that production, you're going to roll it like that, and you get to keep these dice as that resource. These ones just give you straight up two of the water symbol. And then you're going to get two wild tokens as well. So basically, that's what you're going to start out with at this corporation right there. Of course, these are going to be whatever you actually rolled. And it also has an effect. If you place a tile next to an ocean, you gain two yellow dice. And so these all are going to have different production, different effects. Some of them don't have an effect on them. But the Manutech, when you play a green card, immediately gain that production. Polyphemos, each time you play a card, you must pay one extra resource. Wow. But it does have four production there. So uh, Terra Labs, you have two extra cards in your hand size there. Vitor, effect when you play a VP card, gain any yellow resource. And so those are the promos of different corporations there. And these are bonus cards that you pick up when you cross certain thresholds. Fission, which allows you to perform a support action. Hive City, which is negative one point, but you get to place a city. Scientific development as an action that you can do. To gain a wild and a victory point. Adaptation technology. This is kind of a strange way to do adaptation technology. You're basically going to have to spend a flask and a money in order to play this card and get a wild, and then you get to perform an additional action. You got biomaterials, spend a bunch of stuff to be able to get a production of a wild. You got the capital, which gives one victory point per adjacent ocean tile. Cartel, diversity, you need to get one of each of those things, it gives you four points. Homeworld headquarters, immigrant city, if next to a brown tile, you'll gain a wild token. Physics complex, you spend two energy to get three points, and you. this is one of those cards that you're going to tap, and then at production time, you can untap it to be able to use it again and thawing those are the promo cards i'm not gonna go through every card for the base game i think i'd show those real quick and here are the corporate era cards i can get it open so we just have more corporations here i'm not going to go over each of these I think all these pretty much just have basic stuff so far. Uh, this one has some sort of... This one has a discount of that symbol. Be pretty good for playing event cards. This one doesn't give you any starting stuff, but it gives you a bunch of production. Discount here on Titanium for this one. Another discount, this time on the Earth symbol. Uh, some of these have just discounts on them. That's kind of cool. And then we've got some more bonus cards. Immediately take an extra turn. Get a couple wilds. So this allows you to store two dice when you produce. That's kind of handy because normally you have to discard down to three dice. Uh, this allows you to keep an extra two so you can have five dice. I'm just going to really quickly just start showing these. Got 
Got more storage going on with this card. That one's a green dice per tile on the middle row. Interesting. Okay. Swamp. If next to a forest, you gain two dice set to the sea there. There you go. And we got base cards here. Okay. More corporations. I'm going to have a mess to clean up. I'm just dropping these anywhere. Now this one's got a unique kind of ability. You get two points to start out the game. And you're also going to get four wilds, and then you're going to produce a red and a yellow dice. And just real quick, just showing some of these. Oh, wow. That's a powerful bonus card right there. It gets you five red dice. There you go, and one last set here. I'm just going to bounce through these real quick. Modified animal, look at that one. Pets here just gives you a straight up two points and a yellow dice when you play it. This one's kind of a weird one. It's placed next to four empty areas. I have to be careful trying to get this one out of late game. Whenever you see this icon right here, it means that everybody else has to get rid of a green die. So Predator is basically just eating up some of the animals there is what that's representing. Small animals, let's just try and go through this really fast at this point. Uh, this one has, you choose either the temperature or the oxygen, and if this triggers a track bonus, you gain two victory points in addition to what you normally would get. Pretty handy if you time it right. And there you go. Those are all of the components. Kind of really quickly showed you the cards there. I really like Terraforming Mars, the card game. And, and uh, this is going to be a fun one as well. Getting some randomness thrown in there with these dice. And you got some dice mitigation along the way because you can get rid of a dice as your support action to change the die face. So there's, there's some ways that you can get around that as well. Some cards will let you do that as well, changing faces of dice. And so while there is some luck involved in this game, there's also going to be some ways to mitigate 
I hope you enjoyed this unboxing, and I'll probably have some sort of playthrough somewhere along the lines if I get around to it. Meanwhile, you can check out some of these other videos right here and hit the like button and subscribe to see more videos. And I'll catch you in the next one.